Welcome to our study of the Bible, number 37. We're on page 73 of 116 pages. And today we're going to look at something called the Oxford Movement. And you may think, well, this has nothing to do with the Bible. And yet it does. Because what we're going to see is what we've already seen is that the Catholic Church has tried all its power to eliminate the Bible and Bible believers. Burning the Bibles, burning the Christians, killing Christians, torturing Christians, the Inquisition of trying to get them to be tortured to proclaiming about the Mass is holy and right, that Mary is the goddess, that the Pope and his traditions are infallible. And what we're going to see with the Oxford movement is another phrase into the education system of trying to get people back to Mother Church. And when I mean Mother Church, she's not my Mother Church. She used to be. From the time that I was born to April 21st, 1987, I was part of the Mother Catholic Church, a member of St. Mary's Star to Sea, Roman Catholic Church in New London, Connecticut. On April 24th, 1987, I came out of the, of the Mother Church. I came into Jesus. I got saved. I didn't need to eat and drink Jesus. I needed to believe on Jesus. God has grown me as a doctor of theology in studying where pastors and Christians don't do. The Bible says to study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be shamed, Rightly divine the word of truth. This is what I've been doing. And I've had Christians in all my teaching. Oh, I'm not going to believe that. I'm going to do what I want to do. That's fine with you. And I've documented facts. Today, the Oxford movement. The movement of the high church members of the Church of England. Now, the Church of England is the Anglican Church, far separate from the Roman Catholic Church, and yet far separate from the two true Church of Jesus Christ. They purpose in this movement to evidently to fortify themselves with the completion of the Anglo-Catholicism. We will not go fully Catholic, but we'll be Anglican Catholic. As much as I say today, Baptist Catholic, Baptist Catholic, Baptist Catholic. What do I mean when I say Baptist Catholic? The Baptist Church today adopts into the teachings and the traditions and the workings of the Catholic Church. Where they raise their pastors up as the Catholic Church raises saints. Where they, they fortify themselves with the two days of the year of Easter and Esther and Christmas and Tammuz. And the Baptist Church today has incorporated the Catholic ways. As this Oxford movement is, we'll take the Anglican Church, we'll keep the Anglicanism, and we'll add a Catholic to it. And that's exactly what Constantine did. That's the failure of our churches today through Constantine. And that's the church of the great marriage, much marriage, in the churches of Revelation 1 and 2 and 3. And in came the Catholic Church. 
so we won't persecute you. They thought the Anglicanism as one of the three branches of the one holy Catholic apostate Christian church. They wanted to get together one big universal church. And there are Baptist pastors out there. Let's all pray for all the churches. All the churches are fine. You can't mock any of the churches. We don't speak about any of those churches, Christians will say. Yet the Bible says reprove, rebuke, in season, out of season. John Henry Newman and Edward Bovereen Pulsey, B O U V E R I E, Pulsey, P U C E Y, and others. But these are the main two. 1830, 434 Roman Catholic priests. Due to Newman, in 1860, 1,242 Roman Catholic priests in England. In England, before the work of Newman, there were 434 Catholic priests. In England, after John Henry Newman, there were 1,242 priests in England. So the work of Newman, John Henry Newman, is to upgrade, to promote, to evangelize Catholicism. And we'll keep on reading, and you'll find some interesting things. In 1830, 16 covenants training nuns. In 1860, with the work of Newman, 162 covenants in England. It grew. The priests grew. The covenants grew, thanks to Newman. In 1844, 2,054 churches tending towards Romanism, the Catholic Church. In 1898, thanks to Newman, 7,044 churches. Newman has brought to us more priests in England, more covenants and nuns in England, and more of the churches in England. The Newman results, 16,000 to 17,000 churches only, 2,500 churches still remain fundamental and conservative in the Christian doctrine. We need to read 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 17, and we won't do it now. I'm going to leave it to you about the work of Newman. But maybe we will read it, because I don't think you'll read it. 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 17. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own self. You gotta take a selfie. What do I think about myself? Covetousness. Gotta have, gotta have, gotta have, gotta have. Boasters. How great we are. We're number one. Proud to be American. Oh, yes, I am. I'm proud. Made in the USA. Blasphemers. I won't even. Give you an illustration with that. Disobedient to parents. You know what's happened since since I've been alive? I have seen one case where a child took his parents to court to get a, I guess you would call it a divorce from his parents. Disobedient to parents, go into a toy store or a candy store, and when the mother or father says no, and find out what the what the kids do. Unthankful. We used to have a day of Thanksgiving in America, and it ain't anything but Thanksgiving, and it's completely eliminated God. 
unholy. <laughs> Look around. Without natural fiction, sodomites, lesbian, gay. I don't know what sex I am. I want to be a boy, but I'm, I'm really a girl. I'm a girl. I want to be a boy. Truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce. You realize how violent America's gotten? I apologize for the sunlight behind me. Despisers, those things are good. I preach, well, I've, I've been medically out, but I have been many years, six years preaching on the streets of Daytona Beach. The good news, the gospel. Gospel means good news. And there are people that despise it. There are people that call the police. There are people who have gotten lawyers. They got you need to shut that preacher up. And not just Daytona Beach. Traitors. Heady. You get your head in the cloud. High minded. You, you, you got ideas really exploded. Lovers of pleasures. You know. Mickey Ratland opened up after, you know, the COVID-19 and all that. Some of the uh, the cruise liners have gone out with COVID-19. Some churches have not even opened up yet. The entertainment's open, but the churches didn't. More than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such churn away. All are welcome here. Bring them in, bring them in, bring them in from a world of sin. For this sort are they which creep into houses, creep, and lead captive silly women laden with sins, away with divers lusts. And it's ridiculous. I'll let you read the words, the let the rest. Let's see if anything I want to highlight. It's reprobate, corrupt minds. Leave it to you. The English churches and English universities over there in England turning away to the Roman Catholic Church. I didn't say. Look, look, in England, with the work of Newman, and I'm not saying the church in England is proper with God in all faith and belief. I wouldn't say that was a Baptist church. I would believe that there are people saved in the church of England. There are people saved in the Catholic church. When I hostily attack the Catholic church, I am attacking the hierarchy, not the people. But in England during this time, the churches and the universities are going Roman Catholic. There are churches that are the, the Church of England. Now they're the Church of the Roman Catholic Church. There may have been separatist church, and you would know those later to be Baptist church. And now they are become Baptist, uh, Catholic churches. And there may have been this group of people, and now they're becoming Catholic church. And Catholic church is a disease, is a cancer that is spreading. Thanks to Newman and others. And the primary of this study today, the Oxford movement, is the universities. They circulate tracts and pamphlets all over England for the Roman Catholic Church to get out, to get away from the Church of England, the Puritanism, you know, the Puritans that came over on the Mayflower, and Christianity. And today we've got Baptists, we got Christians, we got saved born again believers and they don't hand out gospel tracts. They don't witness for Jesus Christ. Though our Savior said, go into the world and preach the gospel. They don't do it. Meanwhile, we have been here, I don't know how many years here in Daytona Beach, in this house. And before COVID, 
countless and countless Jehovah Witnesses have come and knocked on my door, and I, I'm, I'm able to deal with them. And they, they've sent their best of the best. Not one Baptist church, not one born-again Bible believer has knocked on that door and checked my salvation. I was pleased one time when there's a grocery store I was working before I got sick. I was stocking the shelves one day and I found a gospel track. Out of state, but I found a gospel track in between two, two I don't know, corn, beans, or something like that. I looked at it and put it back. I don't see many gospel tracks out there in the stores. Yeah, I will leave gospel tracts. The Catholics do it. They're, oh, she forgot the name of it. What's it called? Knights of Columbus puts out training, educational, and evangelistic work for the Catholic Church. And Christians don't do a thing. Very rare. I know churches don't even have track racks. Shame on you. Anti-God movement for the Roman Catholic Church. God, small G-O-D-S. Because the Roman Catholic Church, the hierarchy ain't for God, Jehovah. It's for Mary. It's for the gods. It's for the Pope. The Pope is a God. He's, he's the everlasting father of the Catholic Church. Though that belongs to God himself. Newman's won a number of the Angelic Curge, 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 Clergy, sorry, who were received into the Roman Catholic Church in the 1840s. Newman, that guy's Newman, Newman, Newman. What was his first name again? John Henry Newman was once an Anglican, a Church of England clergy. Traitor. Wait a minute. Didn't we read 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 17? Despise of those are good traitors. Heady. This man is a traitor. To the Church of England. He's a Benedict Arnold for the Roman Catholic Church. These lectures were his lectures on present positions of the Catholic in England. And they were delivered weekly. Beginning on June 30th, and finishing September 1st, 1851. And there were a total of nine lectures. Number one, the Protestant view of the Catholic Church. Number two, traditions, the sustaining power of the Protestant view. Number three, fable, the basis of the Protestant view. Now you, now you see, we're turning away. Fable. The Protestant's view is fable. True testimony, number four. Insufficient for the pro Protestant view. Number five. Logical incontest inconsistency of the Protestant view. Number six. Prejudice, the life of the Protestant view. Number seven, assume principles of the intelligent ground of the Father's view. You see, this information I'm giving to you ain't pulled out of a hat. This is actual information that is turned down by Christians. Oh, that ain't right. That ain't going to hurt me. 
Number seven, assume principles and intelligent ground of the Protestant view. Number eight, ignorance concerning Catholics, the protection of the Protestant view. And then number nine, duties of Catholics toward the Protestant view. What Mr. Newman wanted to do is he wanted to revert all of England back to Roman Catholic. He wanted to put them all back. That's what Mary, Queen of Scots, tried to do. That's what Bloody Mary. And when you came up with the King James 1611 Bible, you came up with a Bible that's against the Catholic doctrine, the Catholic tradition, the Catholic Pope. Anybody who reads the King James Bible from Genesis to Revelation will see that the Catholic Church hierarchy, the traditions, and the teachings of the Church is wrong. Got to get rid of that Bible. What would Newman think of the King James Bible? Though it's before, though before we have read and we have studied that the King James Bible is against the Catholic Church, a for God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. That not even Baptists, not even Christians believe in the infallibility of the King James Bible. And I, I, well, there is no infallible word. At a podium teaching Christians about the Bible. Well, you know, there is no Bible that it's, it's infallible. You need to sit down and shut up. I'm turning you over to Satan. Like Paul did that man that was having fornication with his father. So I turn you over. That you may learn to do right. Now I ain't doing it to be cruel. I'm doing it. Hey, that you don't continue to lose rewards. That you will get right and gain rewards for what you lost. So he would revert the Western Alexander Bible. And get away from the KJV. Let's get out of Antioch, Newman says, and let's get down to Egypt. Because we're sick of the manna. We love the leeks. We love the watermelon. We love the garlic. We love the onions. Let's get a group of people. All right, Newman, you're our captain. Let's go back to Egypt. <clears throat> A number of Newman societies, or in America, United States, Newman centers. Newman societies or Newman centers, in the honor of Newman, have been established throughout the world. In the mound of Oxford University, Newman Society. Now, the Newman Center on many colleges and universities, Newman Centers are residents and Catholic ministry centers at non-Catholic universities throughout the world. So, if it's a non-Catholic university, there's a Newman Center, a Newman Society, where the Catholics do their work. What about a born-again Bible believer? Oh, we have a square out in the parking lot for you, away from somewhere. A preaching zone. But in our buildings, we have the Newman Center. And it's for Catholics. It's a community center of our college by Catholics. Who by works think they're going to get out of purgatory and go to heaven. Not by the blood of Jesus Christ. The center provides pastoral services and ministries of the Catholic community. In particular to the Roman Catholic student population within universities throughout the world. Alright. If there are Catholics in universities and okay, fine. You stick to your Catholics. But they're establishing the Catholics. 
for the Catholics, by the Catholics, in the universities. You say, well, Stiley, you go out and preach the gospel. You go out and tell. Because what I have is the truth. What the Catholics have is satanic and devilish. It needs to be stopped. It needs to be stopped by Christians preaching the gospel, which they don't do. And they'll suffer at the judgment seat of Christ. Newman centers were named in the honor of Cardinal John Henry Newman. Cardinal. Ooh, they elevated him. Were he inspired by Newman's writings? You mean I just, the nine I just told you about? The first Newman Center was established in 1893 at the University of Pennsylvania in America. We are a Christian nation. In God we trust. God bless America. And the first place that a Catholic evangelist trying to change the world back to Catholicism is established in a university in America. God ain't going to bless you. Now, I don't need to talk about abortion being legalized. You have a state, one of 50, called Maryland. In honor of the Catholic Church, right across our nation's capital. You know our nation's capital? Where they got the obelisk called Washington Monument? They got the big, huge Mr. Abe Lincoln on his Abe Lincoln sitting in a chair amongst Roman-style buildings. You do know that, right? You do know those buildings are look like and see like Rome, and you do know that uh, uh, Washington, D.C. has an obelisk like the Vatican has an obelisk. The erected penis. It ain't the Washington Monument. It is the paganism as the erected penis. Ooh. Right in the middle, middle of the Vatican, and right in the middle of Washington, D.C., you got an erected penis called an obelisk. Our mission, their mission, together with the Newman Centers throughout the United States, the Newman Connection is a place for students, alumni, pastors, and educators to connect. We all can get together, unity. Ecumenicalism. Did you know that the Catholic presence on over 2,500 different colleges? And the campuses, this Newman Center or Newman Society, 123 listed in the state of Florida where I live. 21 are listed in the state of Connecticut where I was born. Eight are listed in the District of Columbia. The movement was inspired by the writings of Cardinal St. John Henry Newman. Encouraging society. For Catholic students attending secular university, you know, they're not Catholic, they're, they're, they're a state run, they're a federally run, they are privately run. We gotta bring the Catholics in. A little leaven leavens the whole lump, the Bible says. If a doctor has a patient in front of his death and he tells that patient, you got a cancer in you, we got to remove that cancer because it will go through your whole body. It did for my first wife. It did for my second wife. And yet this cancer called the Catholic Church. Oh, we're, we're, we're going to feed it. We're going to encourage it. We want it. And by the time it gets through the whole body and kills the whole body, what happened? Activities among the centers, but usually include both spiritual worship, like Sunday Mass, Mass? That's a Catholic word, like Christ Mass. That's a Catholic word. Eu Eucharistic adorn adorn adornation. That's the Mass, Eucharist. 
We just adore being cannibals, eating the flesh of a man and drinking the blood of a man. That's cannibalism. That's the mass. Social get-togethers, like movies and coffee socials. They got that in the Baptist churches today. A, a boring Baptist preacher in Rhode Island, Connecticut. The guy, is, he's, he's, he's dead as the desert sand. We walked in this church when we we're going to leave Connecticut, come to Florida. I wanted to see had a mausoleum Baptist church as, you know, marble, and they had a coffee shop, and you can go in there and order and wait, and they'll bring your order to you if you didn't want to go in Sunday school. There are churches with coffee, and uh, almost as a coffee shop, I'm saying. Where you go up to the counter and you order your coffee, and I, I don't know if you pay for it. And dances and movies. The very first Baptist church I was in, in Pawkatuck, Connect, we had movies, we had bowling night, we played bingo for Jesus. We didn't have Halloween. We had November 2nd, we had a dress up, but it wasn't Halloween. It's not like Newman. I didn't know back then, but I said, oh, today in 2022, I call it a Baptist Catholic. Maybe Newman has come in. A group outings, like apple picking, March for Life. You've heard that one. An amusement park visit. Has your church gone to amusement park? Newman. You Baptist Catholic. Sort of activities are found in local Baptist churches. The first Newman Club was established at Oxford University by Hartwell D. Lugard Gristle in 1878 as the Oxford University Catholic Club. You have a Bible put up by Oxford, which renamed itself in 1888 the Oxford University Newman Society. The Newman, the Newman Movement in the United States began in 1883 in the University of Wisconsin when Catholic students joined in to form a Mel Melvin, L-M-E-L-V-I-N, named after the host of Mr. and Mrs. John C. Melvin. See, we're lifting people up. We're not lifting Jesus Christ up. We're lifting Cardinal St. John Henry Newman. We're lifting Mr. and Mrs. Melville up. We are lifting up people. We are lifting up the Pope. But we're not lifting up God. We're not lifting up Jesus Christ. The first Newman Club in America was established in 1893 at the University of P Pennsylvania by Timothy Harlington, a graduate medical student and former member of the Wisconsin group, together with John Gilbert, James, and Joseph Waltz, assistant of Father P.J. Garvey, pastor of the local St. James Catholic Church. St. James? And you want to get away from the Catholic Church? No, you don't want to get away from the Catholic Church. You want to get away from the King James Bible. See, you see, we got a St. James Catholic Church, but we don't have a, a King James Bible. Ooh, that's a little kundinky dinky there. The club provides social activities, discussions of faith, Mutual support for Catholic students, sometimes hostile ac academic environment. You know, you, you're having a hard time. We got Catholic tutors for you. The Catholic tutors will help you. And they will guide you. And they'll slowly evangelize you into Satan's work. The meetings were occasions to experience Catholic culture and secular environment. How do Catholics act in the world?
I know a church right now in Florida. What, how to be godly in an ungodly world. Nonsense. How about just being a Christian and living right? 1908, the Catholic clubs began an association which became the National Newman Club Foundation. I missed something here. Come back. The point here, and I don't know how I missed it. Can't turn the page. Well, the, the thing is, these Newman societies and Newman centers, you will find that. Majority of the universities and colleges will have a Newman building. Look it up. That Newman building is for Cardinal Newman. The evangelist for the Catholic Church. I wonder how much of your tax dollars went into building that. You cry church and state, church and state. What about church and education? I guarantee your tax dollars are probably going for this work. Somehow, some way. In 1950, the National Newman Chaplains Association was established to ordain chaplains at non-Catholic colleges and universities. So now... Your community college is going to have an ordained Catholic minister. Though that college is not Catholic, it's not Baptist, it's, it's nothing. It's just a community college. But there are Catholic priests, Catholic ministers there set for by the workings of the Newman Centers, the Newman Association. You know how hard it is for me to try to get into college or get into a hospital with the, with the grounds of Jesus Christ in the gospel? I tried for both hospitals here, and I tried for one in the college. Well, we really don't need your services. We've got people for that. In 1969, the National Newman Chaplain Association became the Catholic Campus Ministry Association, the CCMA. Boy, they're getting bigger and grow growing. They're getting higher. The U.S. Catholic Church Campus Mi Ministries nonprofit organization. Oh, I want what tax bracket they belong in. There are over 2,000 Newman centers in the United States of America. God ain't going to bless America with the Catholic working. God ain't going to bless America with, with the Pope in charge. I am against the Catholic hierarchy. Oh, you're against it. No, I witness the Catholics. I try to get Catholics saved. I am a Polish or used to be a Polish Roman Catholic. My family were Catholics. I witnessed to everybody in my family. Some of them were ready to crucify me, burn me on the stake, throw me in the river, pull my nails out, put me out in the rack. Some got saved. Some I'm not sure where they are today that haven't died. You know, in the street ministry and the public ministry, I, I can tell the Catholic. Can I tell you about Jesus Christ? Do you know where you're going to go when you die? Uh, how? Get away from me. Don't you bring that to me. Ah! I got women at the farmer's market. I know they're Catholics just by their... You're mean and nasty. 
Because you have no love. You have no care. You have no peace. You have no authority. You have no hope in the Pope. Only Jesus saved. Even, even Christian, even Baptists get upset with the things I say. I don't care. Get right. The centers that provide pastoral services and ministry to their Catholic communities and non-Catholics. In particular, the Roman Catholic student population within universities. However, since these centers are located on university campuses, for the, those of other Christian denominations often come and participate as well. Now, I bet you some of them are born-again Bible believers. Or some are just born again. And they don't know enough and they don't study enough and their church don't tell them enough to realize that when you're working with the Catholics, you are working with Satan himself. I said, Catholic hierarchy, the Catholic church is of Satan. Dr. Stiley William Hayward, February 11, 2022. Sign my name to it. I was once a Roman Catholic. And when you're dealing with the Catholic system, the Catholic hierarchy, the Catholic traditions, and the Catholic holidays, you are dealing with paganism, you are dealing with Satan, you are not, you are not dealing with God and Jesus Christ. And the Christians think, oh, December 25th, happy birthday to Jesus. Happy birthday to Jesus. No, it's Tammuz's birthday, not Jesus. I don't like how he preaches. I can only assume as John Henry Newman escorts you away and back to the Catholic Church. Variety of universities and parish. That's a Catholic word. Parish. Related meetings and social events take place at the centers. As well as personal events including Catholic weddings, anniversary celebration, baptism, masses, and funeral receptions. He said, well, why did you include that in the, in the Bible study? Because there's one thing about Mr. Newman. There is one thing about the Newman societies and the Newman clubs. They are for sure, as some Christians and some Baptists are, they are not for the right King James Bible. They're not for the Holy King James Bible. They're not for God's Word. And God is not for them. God doesn't work in them. God doesn't, doesn't reward them. And they think what they're doing, they think it's all about God, for God. It's by the God called Satan. Plain and simple.